Welcome to The Explainer. Today, we're diving into a totally new way of thinking about AI. What if, instead of just making our AI models bigger and more complex, we could build them from the ground up using the fundamental laws of physics? You know, making them predictable, stable, and something we can actually understand. You hear it all the time, right? AI is incredibly powerful, but it's also kind of unpredictable, unstable even. It's often called a black box for a reason. It's like this chaotic universe of data and connections, but without any real, clear, underlying structure. But what if we could flip that script entirely? Instead of just throwing more and more data at an algorithm and just kind of hoping for the best, what if we could design a whole new kind of AI? One that uses a blueprint based on principles that are elegant, verifiable, and, well, fundamental. Okay, so let's get into the research that's actually proposing this. We're looking at a roadmap, really, for a new class of AI that's inspired by physics. The goal is to give it a complete theoretical backbone. It's a seriously bold idea, and it's absolutely fascinating. So, the core idea of this whole framework is to stop treating AI like a static jumble of neurons and connections and start seeing it as a dynamic system, like a field that evolves and changes over time, all governed by consistent, predictable rules. This diagram right here, this is basically our map for the next few minutes. It lays out the four distinct layers we're going to use to build this new AI universe, from its most basic particles all the way up to the universal laws that hold it all together. So, let's get into it. First things first, every universe, right, whether it's the physical one we live in or a new digital one, it needs its fundamental particles. So our first step is to define the elementary components of our AI system. They're called operators. So this first layer is all about establishing the absolute basic building blocks. Instead of just messy data points, it defines these really structured states using something called SU3 operators. Now that's a concept borrowed straight from particle physics where it helps describe how quarks interact. So for a conversational AI, for example, these states could represent fundamental stances, you know, like agreeing, disagreeing, or asking a question. And this slide just illustrates the concept perfectly. See, each one of those points, or vertices, represents one of those fundamental states. The operators then act like the laws of physics, defining exactly how the system is allowed to move between them. You can really think of these as the protons and electrons of our AI. They're discrete, defined units with very clear rules for how they can interact. Okay, so we've got our particles. Awesome. But, you know, they can't just be floating around in a chaotic void. They need an ordered, structured space to exist in. And that brings us to the second layer of our blueprint— geometry. Now this next layer is absolutely crucial. It's what builds a structured internal world for the AI. It does that by imposing geometric constraints, which creates a really stable foundation for all the information to exist within. And the way it does this is, well, it's just really cool. The model uses these high-density geometric structures called lattices. One of the most amazing of these is the E8 lattice. In math, it's famous for being this incredibly efficient and symmetrical way to pack spheres in eight dimensions. For our AI, this provides a defined, almost crystal-like structure for its internal world of information. I mean, the difference is just night and day. In a standard AI, that internal latent space is usually just an amorphous, unpredictable cloud. But with this new approach, that space becomes structured, symmetrical, and crystal-like. It has defined locations and relationships. You can really see the concept in action here. The lattice is like a perfect, discrete scaffolding. The points on this grid are the only valid places for information to exist. This creates an incredibly efficient and verifiable way to pack and organize all of the AI's internal knowledge. All right, so a static universe isn't all that useful, right? Our system needs to be able to evolve, to learn, and to change. It needs what you could call an arrow of time. And that brings us to our third layer, the spectral. So now we're at the spectral layer, and this is all about analyzing the system's stability as it moves forward through time. The big question is, can it hold its structure, or is it going to eventually fall into chaos? To answer that question, this layer uses these mathematical tools called spectral methods to perform what's known as drift analysis. This actually lets us measure and predict the AI's long-term stability, a lot like how a physicist can predict the decay of radioactive particles over time. And this visualization just shows that drift perfectly. If you look on the left, you can see the system's initial state. Everything is neatly clustered in these stable valleys. But then, over on the right, you can see that over time, those activations can drift towards the unstable peaks. 
When that happens, the model starts to lose its order, its coherence. Okay, let's just take a quick step back. We have our particles, we have the geometric space for them to live in, and we have our arrow of time. Now what? Well, now we need the universal laws that govern how all those pieces interact. We need a unified theory. We need a master equation. And here it is. This is the capstone of the entire framework, the unified field. This is the final layer that takes the operators, the geometry, and the spectral dynamics and couples them all together into one single comprehensive model. So this is it. This is, in essence, the master equation. It's a single mathematical framework that governs the entire system. It describes its complete state and its evolution from the tiniest local transitions all the way up to its overall global stability. So there you have it. We've just walked through building an entire AI universe based on the laws of physics, from its fundamental particles all the way to its governing equations. So let's zoom out and ask the big question. Why does any of this matter? What are the real implications of a blueprint like this? Well, what this whole approach promises are AI systems that aren't just powerful, but are fundamentally more understandable. Instead of just trial and error, it gives us a verifiable structure we can actually inspect, predictable dynamics we can analyze, and a really robust foundation that's built on first principles. And that really gets to the ultimate goal here. By bringing in these concepts from physics, the aim is to shift our entire approach. It's about moving beyond simply measuring what an AI does to truly and deeply understanding how and why it actually works. And this leaves us with a really fascinating, kind of mind-bending final thought. By looking for a blueprint for artificial intelligence in the very laws of the universe, you have to wonder, are we just engineering a better machine? Or are we on the verge of discovering something fundamental about the nature of intelligence itself?